someone here, a wave master on the wharf, so we could come in and weigh off our fish, and they would hoist it and everything here, and come the next day and pick My it up. My mom was related to the Bercy. Bercy, I don't, Ach I don't, Ach I don't know him. Achagid Bercy lived there. Yeah? Yeah. My That's mom told me that she was related to the Yes, I would Bercy. say, yes, definitely. Well, is anybody live there now? No, there's a guy, he got a cat, he's a Bercy, this fellow here. Oh, okay. And uh, he, he, he just comes here some of the time, oh. right? right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot of fish crawling this afternoon. I guess. Tell you that. No, this time of year? No. no. no they were all on the Labrador coast. Wow. My, my grandfather Roger's telling me they left when they left Silver Fox Island. He, he sailed with the family schooner. It was mostly families. So we <laughs> he was he was nine years old. First year they went off the Labrador coast. Oh my goodness! That was about typical. Eight to ten years old. Billy Joel was dead and gone. There was nothing left but the bones. Nature's working overtime to take down his own home. Legs are rotten and the back is bent and the windows they just stare. After 15 kids, it's hard to believe there's one living there. There was smoke from the chimney, youngsters screaming, smell of homemade bread. Spuds in the cellar and pickles in the pantry and lots of wood in the shed. Try to remember the two story house nestled down in the cold. Cause if you go back, you'll probably find a spot where the alders grow. weren't actually part of the crew. They they were separate. So, uh, they had actually paid for the box. In the hole with seal belts. I don't think in here might have been lived around here. I, that's what I'm thinking. I, I, I will find out for sure for you. But I am thinking that this is where the, most of the lovers live around here. Mom said the house should be on still, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, I would say this, I, I, I'm thinking this would be here, right? But she didn't mind living there, but we got a, she got a house in Gloverton. She had a house in Gloverton on big poles. Okay. And, and she was afraid. It went to the wind. Well, Steve. Yeah. And there used to be a, a bridge connected to those two islands, right? Uh, the remnant is still here on the bottom now, actually. And that's where uh, uh, Andy and Andy and all. Yeah, and they're all related to them. Yeah, well, that's where they live. Oh, yeah. Andy used to have a store over there. Yeah. Well, uh, as kids, I mean, when we get to when we start to sell candy, that was a big thing, right? But Andy used to love her kids. Probably find the spot where the otters grow. And if you go back, you'll probably find 
a spot where the alders grow. Billy Drover's dead and gone, and there's nothing left but the bones. Nature's working overtime to take down his own home. The legs are rotten, and the back is bent, and the windows, they just stare. After 15 kids, it's hard to believe that there's no one living there. There was smoke from the chimney, youngsters screaming, smell of homemade bread. Spuds in the cellar, and pickles in the pantry, and lots of wood in the shed. Try to remember the two-story house nestled down in the coal. Cause if you go back, you'll probably find the spot where the alders grow. Clearly I remember now the wooden shingle box, long fully loaded clothesline and a hundred hand net socks. A pile of slabs and a chopping block and a swing in the apple tree. A shed on the wharf down across the cove and an old house over the sea. There was smoke from the chimney, youngsters screaming, smell of homemade bread. Spuds in the cellar and pickles in the pantry, and lots of wood in the shed. Try to remember the two story house nestled down in the cove. Cause if you go back, you'll probably find the spot where the alders grow. Lock-laden summer winds leaping through long hay Curtain tongues through open windows, white caps on the bay Capelin corpses neatly laid on flakes of black spruce boughs Stouts and flies and bumblebees and an old tail swinging cow There was smoke from the chimney, youngsters screaming, smell of homemade bread Spuds in the summer and pickles in the pantry and lots of wood in the shed Try to remember the two-story house nestled down in the coal. Cause if you go back, you'll probably find the spot where the alders grow. And if you go back, you'll probably find a spot where the alders grow.